actually, I mean, someone proposed to me already. Oh, I didn't know about it. Who is he? I thought I've told you about this. I mean, I did tell you that he kind of wanted to ask me prom. He? Um, it's Gatsby. Wait, Gatsby? I knew it! I knew it was him. That rich, charming guy, every girl chases the call himself the great Gatsby. When did that happen? Oh, just last Friday. After I reached home, I walked into my room and it was fully decorated with Wait, him. he went into your room? Yeah, I was so shocked and surprised. And that's not even the best part. There were those decorative lights from IKEA hanging on the walls, which made the room look so perfect. And he gave you a necklace? Well, to be specific, he gave me a diamond necklace. That you have always wanted. That I have always wanted. Hazel, we've talked oh, about. My transporter arrived. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's okay. Bye bye. bye. Guess he is it, huh? Guess has just lost to a guy who barely knew her. She took the paper. And? Well, she didn't say no. And? Well, that means I still have a chance. Dude. You don't think so? I mean, you always have a chance, bro. But you gotta know, Jay Gatsby isn't a simple guy. Tell me more about it. What are you looking at? It all started two months ago when the name Gatsby started to appear in our conversations. Oh my god, you wouldn't believe this. Gatsby messaged me last night. Oh, David Becker texted you? Of course not, jeez. I didn't know any, anyone else other than David Becker that can message you. It's Gatsby, the great Gatsby. Before I knew Gatsby was a human name, I actually thought that she was crazy for a while. My guess was more logical than her answer. I mean, her favourite footballer won't text her, but not sure if how she managed to receive a message from... It's a human name for heaven's sake, Jordan. Of course it's a human name. Do you think I'm dumb? Yes, I do. Nope, never heard of it. Are you freaking kidding right now? He's like the thing in our country. I don't even have to do a research on him. Gosh, there's a movie about him? Uh, yeah, he's just that great man. And being his girlfriend would feel as heavenly as when you can Well, I've never won a lottery before. Even if you do, you still wouldn't be as rich as him. He has a castle on an island of his own. Hey, I have a castle. Oh, come on, Jordan. Nobody likes that Lego castle of yours. Now that's so very offensive. His charming look, so adorable. God, I could stare at him all day long. His eyes are so shiny, he makes diamonds feel useless. He does sports and blah, he's blah, super blah, blah, smart blah. and intelligent. Gets me here, gets me there, gets me every freaking where. She's not gonna reply. Guess that's why I still don't know what's so great about the great Gatsby. My ears couldn't allow all of those words blabbered from her mouth to get into my nerves. 
Should I try again? Good afternoon, Ms. Gan. This is the Kuala Lumpur Police Department, and I would like to officially announce okay. the death of Mr. J. Get. Hey, old sport. Does your boy get me here? Just telling you I ain't going to no prom with you no more, girl. Alright, bro, let's say it all right. No, 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 please don't, don't. Oh boy, why have I brought myself into? It's been two weeks since we last talked to each other. She seemed happy, and that's what I wanted. What I always wanted, didn't I? I wasn't expecting to tell anyone about this at all, but they are my friends anyway, so why not? Damn! How can she be so stupid? She's not. Like what they say, love makes you blind. Guess that's true. You can't just let her be like this, man. Yeah, you have to go snatch her back. I know this gets me eye is no good at all. Like I said, she looks happy with him. She's freaking blind for God's sake, Jordan. Then what can I do? I say, you give another try and make a surprise proposal to her. Hey, but dude, this can make things worse. Or, you can save our Pezo back. I will take the risk for her. Alright guys, I have a great plan. But firstly, we need to get the contact from Pezo's parents and we need to have the perfect time to execute the plan. Yeah. Alright. I have their great. contact numbers. I can do that. Alright, alright. Great, great. Okay, so, Joey, mm -hmm. you'll play the first part first. Alright, so, you'll be a door opener. So, after Hazel opens the door, mm -hmm. then I'll go in and I'll take her out. I have prepared a speech for her. So, Joanne, after I finish the speech, you'll come over here and take with the card where you go to prom with me. So, I'll be standing behind the door? Yes, then after that, you'll come over here with the card. Okay. Edward, yes. this is where you play your pop role. Okay, so after you hear the keyword, yes, alright, you'll come over here and then you will put the party bomber. Right. And there'll be balloons everywhere and I think it'll be very, very amazing. Sounds like a good plan. Well, that was the biggest lie I've ever heard from Edward. So wait, wait! Where is the flower? Oh shit! I'm gonna get one now! Let's go, 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 go! Two thousand years later. Bro, seriously? I'm sorry man, this is all I have. Oh no. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm really sorry, but I really we have to go to the uh, toilet. Uh, sorry. Yes, alright. No, 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 stop. Bro, that is not the queue. What is this? Oh my god. And
the valid GG. Yeah. This flower. Ah, bro! This is not supposed to be a flower, bro. Um. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Yes or no, Peso? Will you go to pub with me? But yes or no? Gets me. Gets me! Gets me! Why me? Ah. Yeah man, just kind of gush. Yeah, we can just go as friends, man. I'm the one who was blind all the time. I only have her in my eyes, but not my friends. Oh, they care so much for me. I'm a selfish prick. Hey Jordan, I'm really sorry for what happened for the past few weeks. I know I've made you frustrated and annoyed. I know you did all of this just for my good, and yet I treated you so badly. I was so stupid. Turns out you were always right. Gatsby used me for all these time. He played with my feelings. He made me believe that I'm special, and clearly I'm not. The special girl is my cousin Daisy, who was Gatsby's first love. She's also the reason why Gatsby moved to this country. He wanted to look for her. He boosted his popularity by hosting all of these prom events. He wanted to search for Daisy through his huge network of friends. Unfortunately, not many people know the existence of Daisy. And there he found me, a cousin of Daisy. He used me to get the information about Daisy. That's what I heard. Huh? It's up to you, mate. Come on. If this is true, I can't. I can't just let her go like this. I need to go to prom with her. Although he's an asshole and I'm nowhere better than him, he treated me like this because of his love towards Daisy. He was blinded by love and his feelings were controlled by his mind, motivating him to do this. And so was I, blinded by love. The way I treated you was unforgivable, but the words you said, they were carved into my bones. The roses and sticky notes you gave, they were still with me. I tried to believe, tried to convince myself to listen to your words, but I just couldn't. That's why I said that I was as bad as Gatsby. I lost control for his so-called love. Jordan, you do know that I trust you and I swear I always had. Even when I didn't believe what you said, I never ever forget a word from you. And I really hope things can go as how it went, you being you and me being me. Every moment that we spent together were the most special moments in my life. We don't really need prom for this, but if God gave me a second chance, I would have accepted your proposal right after you asked me to open that paper.